Can we sink any lower in the present Christian culture? I don't think so. I mean, we are at the bottom of the barrel. With this image in front of you of Jerry Falwell Jr. showing his midriff with his friend there, not his wife, this is the picture of Christianity in the United States of America. Just like this man is gasping for air to breathe is how I feel in regards to this situation. Check this out. For some of you, this is not new news, but for some others, it may be. So therefore, I want to cover it and bring some light to it. Jerry Farwell Jr., the president of Liberty University, a very well-known Christian college or university that is, and I even know some kids that went there, uh, is found in a picture with a woman in unzipped pants. This is the Christianity that America promotes, that America defends, that America stands by. I will tell you right now that he is not the last who will be prodded on the stage of forgiveness and we all make mistakes and we all fall short of the glory of God conundrum. It is always the same song and dance. Something comes out that is racy, that is questionable, that is immoral by one of these leaders. I remember when Mark Driscoll uh, was heading up the large church there in Portland, Seattle. Uh, I think it was Acts 29 ministry that he started and Mars Hill Church. And the guy, it, you know, he wrote a book, plagiarized it, got on New York Times bestseller list, and they did it by buying the books themselves to shoot himself up to the bestseller list of the New York Times, therefore looking good on his portfolio and um, doing it with the church money. Uh, go figure. These are the leaders that have taken positions of power and authority over church people. And the ironic thing is that the church people do not stand up for biblical truth. They rather defend the personality. When you call them out, you get all their supporters hating on you for no apparent reason other than you bringing attention to what they have already done publicly and taking them to task biblically. And to me, it's a disgrace for the whole of Christian culture in America because to me, a Christian stands for Christ and his word and defends that. No matter who it is that they love or uh, idolize, they are now having to pick a side. And they usually pick the side of the fallen man, thinking that that is the just thing to do because God is compassionate, forgiving, and loving. Yes, that's true. That part of God is true. But he's also a God of justice, a God who calls to account our sin. And we will give an account for everything we've done in this body when we as Christians go to the judgment seat of Christ, known as the Bema seat or the Bema seat. And so, brothers and sisters, we're quick to just forgive and have mercy. And I think that the whole of Christianity in America does so because they have skeletons in their closets as well. So they identify with the fallen minister. That is to our shame. I think the whole of the Christian culture in America is a farce. And we need to repent of our evil ways and turn to the, to the Lord for grace and mercy. There's still time for the American Christian culture to be salvaged. God is willing to bring us back to himself. You see that throughout the Old Testament and even in the New Testament. But, you know, how much longer is God going to be patient with the Christian culture? You got people like T.D. Jake supporting the LGBT community, uh, believing that Jesus was created at birth, that he did not exist before he came. You have people like Joyce Myers preaching that Jesus paid for our sins in hell when he was being beat up by demons. And then you have other people uh, such as Mark Driscoll giving us a bad name, Perry Noble giving us a bad name, Stephen Furtick who believes he's the image of God and uh, had a cartoon depiction of him as a leader given to the children of the church that, or church club he, he pastors, um, and they were given allegiance to the leader. It was very cultish. He was called on at it, bought, I don't know how many millions of dollars his house 
is worth. But he was called out on that. Very extravagant person. Um, always has the latest kicks. Just doesn't... I don't understand how Christians in America fall for this. The only uh, answer to that is they're, de they're deceived and they love it that way. Just as Jeremiah said in Jeremiah chapter 5, the end of that chapter, the prophets were lying to the people and the people loved it that way. So this is what we have as Christian representatives in America. No wonder why the nation is tanking. No wonder why Muslims are growing in popularity and in quantity in our very shores because there's a vacuum now. There's a small number of true biblical Christianity, uh, churches that are biblically uh, orthodox and true to the faith and true to the word of God and true to Christ, the Lamb of God who is God himself in the flesh. Um, and we're, in the, we're the minorities. And brothers and sisters, you, you have to be aware of this. We're living in a dark day. Christianity, as Shaolin said, we're in post-Christian uh, culture. Post-Christian. Christianity is not what it used to be. And only God can recover it. This is Noel from Against All Hope Ministries. God bless you.